All right, class, starting off this lesson, I have some good news for you and I have some good news. The good news is that this lesson, 5.3 Continued Synthetic Division, is very, very similar to the last video that you watched, which was 5.3 C Synthetic Division. So if you understood that lesson, this lesson I don't think you'll have any problem grasping because it's very, very similar. So that's the first good news. Here's the second good news. If you kind of struggled a little bit with last video, if you weren't very confident in your synthetic division skills, it'll be nice to have another crack at it because this lesson, like I said, is very, very similar to that last lesson, so you can try to give it another shot to do better on this lesson. So no matter what your situation, this lesson is good news. So here's what we have here, class. We're going to do this using synthetic division again. However, on our last video, every single time we had a coefficient of 1 in front of our x term on our binomial, which is our divisor. This time, every single problem in this lesson is going to have a coefficient other than 1. It might be a 2 like it is in this one, or it might be a 5, or it might be a 3, or it could be any number. Um, the, the strategy for solving this remains the same no matter what number it is. So here's what we have. As you can see, we have a 2 as our coefficient in front of x. And the way I know how to synthetic divide is when there is a 1 right there in front of x. So if I know how to synthetic divide with a 1 there, tell you what, let's just get a 1 there. If that's the case, we're going to divide every single thing by 1. Or sorry, 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 by 2. If I want to get a positive 1 to be right here, the way I do that is to say, well, 2 divided by 2 is 1. But if I divide that by 2, I got to divide this by 2, I this by 2, 2, 2, and 2. Every single term has to be divided by 2 to make everything the same. So now our new polynomial that we're going to divide is going to be 8x cubed divided by 2, which is 4x cubed plus 6x squared minus 2x minus 3. That divided by x minus 1 half. So let's just recap what I've done so far. I want to get a 1 right here. So in order to do that, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So then I'm just going to divide everything by 2 if I divide one of the things by 2. So now each term, I shouldn't say thing, the mathematical, each term is divided by 2. So now I do the exact same thing that I did in our last video, which you should have watched yesterday. We're going to have our coefficients going inside our division bar, which is 4x cubed, 6x squared, a negative 2x, negative 3. I don't know what this thing is. I think I bumped it with my elbow. And then I have the opposite of x minus 1 half, which is a positive 1 half right here. The one thing that previous classes have had an issue with this one is say, Mr. Berge, it's too many fractions that we have to deal with. Well, I say toughen up. Fractions are good for you. So you will have to learn how to multiply and add with fractions. If you do it in your head, it's the quickest. But obviously, you're certainly welcome to use your calculator if you'd like to do that. All right. Once we're up to this step, all we do is we simply use our algorithm of alternating, multiplying, and adding. So I'm going to bring down this 4, and then I multiply. 4 times a half, or half of 4, is 2. And then I add. 6 plus 2 is 8. And then I multiply. Half of 8 is 4. I don't know what I'm doing with this x right here. I'm sure you guys noticed that. And then I have a negative 2 plus 4 is a positive 2. And then I multiply 2 times a half, so I get half of 2, which is 1. And then I get a remainder of a negative 2. Now in this lesson class, every single time you get a remainder, what I want you to do is I want you to put it into a box. Because that will hopefully remember one final thing that you have to do when you synthetic divide with a coefficient other than 2, or other than 1. What you have to do, class, is our first step. We have to divide by whatever the coefficient is. 
That's the first difference with synthetic division with a coefficient other than 1 as opposed to a coefficient of 1. The first thing we have to remember is to divide everything by that coefficient. That's why we divided everything by 2. The other thing that we have to remember is that whenever we get a remainder, we have to multiply this number, just the remainder, only the remainder, we have to multiply it by whatever we first started off dividing by. So we first started off dividing by this 2. So if that's the case, we now have to multiply the remainder by whatever we started off multiplying by, which was the number 2. So our answer here, class, is going to be these numbers representing our coefficients in front of x, or in front of the highest power of x, one power down from that. So we have x cubed. So 4x squared is going to be my first term plus 8x plus 2 with a remainder of not a negative 2. That's not going to be our remainder. It's a negative 2 multiplied by this 2. So a negative 2 times a positive 2 is a negative 4. Whatever our remainder is, we put that over our divisor, and it's over our original divisor, not this one, our original divisor, which is 2x minus 1. So over our divisor of 2x minus 1. This class is your answer. So there are two main differences between synthetic division with a coefficient of 1 as compares to synthetic division with a coefficient other than 1. Two major differences. If you want to write this down, you're certainly welcome to. Differences. Did I spell that right? Dif that does not look right, but maybe it is. Anyway, you guys can correct me on that if I spelled it wrong. Two major differences. One difference. You must divide by the coefficient. The other main difference is that if you get a remainder, you must multiply by the number you first divided by. You remember these two differences, you're going to be very, very well set for tackling this lesson. So we have another five problems on our notes for today. I'll probably do another two or three along with you, and then I'm going to have you pause the video so you can practice a couple on your own as well. So for this next one, 4x squared minus 2x plus 6 divided by 2x minus 3. You see that we have a coefficient of 2. I don't want that 2 there. I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to divide it by 2. And when I divide that by 2, I'm going to divide everything by 2. So now I'm going to have 2 x squared minus 1x plus 3. That polynomial divided by the binomial of x minus 3 halves. All right, once you're up to here, which hopefully you guys feel comfortable with this by now, we draw our division bar. Our coefficients are 2, negative 1, positive 3 x minus 3 halves is the divisor, so a positive 3 halves is going to be the number that goes outside my division bar. And now I drop this 2, and now I'm going to multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. So as I multiply, 3 halves times 2, if you want to think of this as a fraction, it's 2 over 1, so we would have 3 times 2, which is 6, and 2 times 1, which is 2. So 6 halves would be the number that would go right here. However, you guys all know what 6 halves is. 6 halves is the number 3. So 3 halves times 2 is 3. Once we do that, let's get rid of some of this garbage. Now we're going to add a negative 1 plus 3 is a positive 2. So now we're going to multiply again. 
three halves times two is six halves once again, once again, and six halves is again the same as saying three. And now we add three plus three is six. Once again, we have a remainder, so what I want you to do is I want you to box that remainder because that tells you that you're going to have to multiply this by what we started off dividing by. We started off by dividing by a 2, I believe. Yep, 2. So you have to multiply by 2. So your answer, your coefficients from 1 power down from the highest power of x, x squared is the highest power of x, so this 2 right here represents the number in front of x. It's going to be 2x plus the constant term of 2, plus a remainder of not 6, but 12, divided by our original divisor, which is 2x minus 3. 2x minus 3. I just want to take a look at my notes every now and again to make sure that I'm doing these right, so if you ever see a stall in the video, that's what I'm doing. All right, next one, number 3. 6x squared minus x minus 7 divided by 3x plus 1. As you can see, my coefficient is a number other than the number 1. In this case, it's a coefficient of 3. So let's divide that whole bi binomial by 3. And not only the whole binomial by 3, but we also divide the whole trinomial by 3 as well. So here's what we got. We now have 2x squared minus a third x minus 7 thirds. As you can see, we're going to have some ugly fractions on this one. And then we have divided by, I don't know what I was doing there. There we are. Divided by x plus a third. All right, let's make our division bar. Our coefficients are 2, a negative 1 third, a negative 7 thirds, divided by x plus 1 third is the binomial, so a negative 1 third is going to go on the outside. Bring down the 2, and then we're going to multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. 2 times a negative 1 third is a negative 2 thirds. Add up. A negative one-third plus a negative two-thirds is a negative three-thirds. And a negative three-thirds is the same thing as saying a negative one. And now I multiply. A negative one times a negative one-third. A negative times negative is a positive. So it's going to be a positive one-third. A negative seven-thirds plus one-third is a negative six-thirds. And a negative six-thirds is the same thing as two. And this is our remainder. I'm going to box it up because I'm going to multiply this by whatever I started off dividing by, which was 3 in this case. Don't always get in the habit of always multiplying the remainder by 2. You multiply the remainder by whatever you started off dividing by. I started off dividing by 3, so I'm going to multiply by 3. So my answer, this 2 right here, is the coefficient in front of the one power down from the highest power of x, which is x squared. So this becomes 2x to the first, or 2x minus our constant term of 1, plus our coefficient, sorry, plus our remainder, which is 6, divided by what we first started off dividing by, which was 3x plus 1. 2x minus 1. My, plus 6 divided by 3x plus 1. Let me read that again. 2x minus 1 minus 6 over 3x plus 1. This is our answer. Let's do one more together as a class, and then I want you guys to try number 5 and 6 on your own, and then check your work with mine as after you've done it. So for number 4, our coefficient is once again the number 2. So let's divide this by 2, and let's divide this by 2. Hopefully this process is getting easier and easier with each problem that you do. So we have 4x to the 4th minus 2x squared plus 1 half x plus 2. Let me check my work there to make sure I did it right. 
4x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus a half x plus 2. That divided by x plus a half. Alrighty, we have our new polynomial that we're going to use synthetic division for. So let's draw our division bar. We're going to have 4x to the fourths. How many x cubes do we have? Remember, remember, remember that placeholder. I'm guessing maybe some of you have forgot it. Let's get it back. We have 4x to the fourths. We have 0x cubes, a negative 2x squareds, a positive 1 half x's, and a positive 2 for a constant term. Make sure you remember those placeholders. That is critical. You will not get the right answer unless you remember them. And then we have the negative 1 half on the outside here, the opposite of the x plus 1 half. With that being said, we're going to bring down the 4, and then we're just going to alternate multiplying and adding. So we have 4 multiplied by a negative 1 half is a negative 2. Add these up, you get negative 2. Multiply a negative 2 times a negative 1 half is a positive 1. Adding them up, a negative 2 plus 1 is a negative 1. Multiply a negative 1 times a negative 1 half is a positive 1 half. Add up, 1 half plus 1 half is 1. And 1 times a negative 1 half is a negative 1 half. And then 2 minus 1 half is 3 halves. So we get a remainder of 3 halves. Like I said, class, if you don't feel comfortable doing this all in your head, use a calculator. I have no issues with that. I, I just worry that I just care that you get the right answer. So if you want to use a calculator, feel free. This is the remainder. This number we're going to multiply by whatever we started off dividing by. So we're going to multiply this by 2. That's what we first started off dividing by. So this 4 is the coefficient from 1 power down from the highest power of x, which is x to the fourth. So this 4 right here becomes 4x cubed. 4x cubed minus 2 x squared minus an x plus 1 plus a, re a remainder of 3 halves multiplied by 2. If you take 3 halves and multiply it by 2, these cancel and you just get the 3 all by itself. So the remainder of 3 over our divisor that we first started off with, which was 2x plus 1. 3 over 2x plus 1. And there's your answer for number 4. So what I want you guys to do now, class, is I want you all to do number 5 and number 6 all on your own. Don't use my help with the video. Um, math is best done when you can do it on your own and then check your work. So please make sure that you do that. And then after that, um, check your work with mine to make sure that you did it correctly. So pause the video now and do number five and number six on your own. Divide by two. We have one x cubed plus five halves x squared minus an x minus 15 halves divided by x minus three halves. All right, looks like we've got a lot of gross things going on here. Let's see how it ends up. Our division bar. We have 1x cubed, 5 halves x squared, a negative 1x, a negative 15 halves for a constant term, and a positive 3 halves goes on the outside. Here we go. We got a bring down the 1, multiply. 1 times 3 halves is 3 halves. Add up 5 halves plus 3 halves is 8 halves, and 8 halves is the same as 4. 4 times 3 halves, 4 times 3 is 12 halves, and 12 halves is the same thing as 6. Multipl or add a negative 1 plus 6 is a positive 5. Multiply 5 
times three halves is 15 halves. Hey, oh, we have 15 halves, so we get a remainder of zero. What started off so ugly becomes so beautiful. It's kind of like the ugly duckling, I guess. <sighs> beautiful swan at the end. So our beautiful swan, no remainder, uh, don't even have to worry about this, is just going to be 1, 4, and 5 are the coefficients of 1 power down from the highest power of x, which is x cubed. So we have 1x squared plus 4x plus 5. I dare say that that one was kind of fun, wasn't it? I mean, I'm sure you guys had a smile on your face as you were doing that one because you enjoyed that so immensely. So now number six, hopefully you did this one right as well. Hopefully you had just as much fun doing it in the same as number five. Let's divide everything by three. Hey, yep. And divide this by three. Hey, yep. So we're going to have 2x cubed plus 5 thirds x squared minus 2 thirds x plus 1 third. Let me make sure I did that right. 6 thirds is 2, 5 thirds, negative 2 thirds, positive 1 third. Okay. Divide that by x plus a third. Our division bar is going to have 2 5 thirds, a negative 2 thirds, and a positive 1 third in it. And then on the outside of our division bar is going to be a negative 1 third, the opposite of x plus 1 third. All right, with all these fractions, let's alternate using multiplication and division. 2 times a negative 1 third is a negative 2 thirds. 5 thirds minus 2 thirds is 3 thirds. 3 thirds is 1. 1 times a negative 1 third is a negative 1 third. A negative 2 thirds minus 1 third is a negative 3 thirds. A negative 3 thirds is a negative 1. And a negative 1 times a negative 1 third is a positive 1 third. Negative times negative is a positive. Okay. And then we have 1 third plus one-third, so we get a remainder of two-thirds. Our remainder is two-thirds. However, this remainder, we know that we always multiply by whatever we started off dividing by. We were dividing by a positive three up top, so we have to multiply by a positive three down on the bottom. So two, one, and negative one are our coefficients in front of one power down from the highest power of x, which is x cubed. So it's two x squared. 2x squared plus an x minus 1 plus our remainder of, if we multiply by 3, these 3's cancel. We just get a remainder of 2 over our divisor that we started off with, which was 3x plus 1. 2 over 3x plus 1. Our final problem, number 6, the correct answer is 2x squared plus an x minus 1 plus a remainder of 2 over 3x plus 1. And that concludes synthetic division. I hope you guys are experts at synthetic division now with what we did from 5.3c as well as today's lesson 5.3 day 2 of doing synthetic division even more with coefficients other than 1. But certainly if you have any questions you can let me know in class. I really want to help you out in understanding this. What we have is the rest of Excel Math Objective 42, what I told you not to do the other day, you can do now. And then you also have another, oh, six problems, I suppose, 12, 13, 41, 42, 43, 44. I'm going to hand out a worksheet on that so you won't have to look in a book to get this. I'm just going to hand this out in a worksheet. So that's what we're going to have for homework. You guys can do that when you get to class tomorrow.